I think Vietnam remains controversial um, because it's the, the first instance in the aftermath of World War II where Americans unquestionably have to confront an uncomfortable proposition that there are in fact limits to what we can do. Right. Uh, how does that impact them psychologically and their impact on how they fight? That's a, that's a great question and I think it impacts them greatly because uh, Vietnam in particular I think is an incredibly frustrating war for so many Americans. Um, they, they don't get a sense of, of clear victory. They don't get a sense of clear progress. The Tet Offensive clearly leaves the North Vietnamese forces and the National Liberation Front uh, damaged. Although it's a military victory on the battlefield, it's seen as a psychological defeat for the Americans um, because the home front starts to turn against the war. And for the first time in its, in its recent history, it's, it's confronted with a, um, a problem that it just can't solve with, with military power. I don't think you can understand the American experience in Vietnam without thinking about the Vietnamese experience. Uh, and in fact, I would argue that perhaps the Vietnamese experience is what is most important trying to wrap our heads around uh, when we answer deeper questions about how the 1960s and 1970s unfolded, not just in Vietnam, but also in Southeast Asia.